It's time for Talking Ball with John Robinson, presented by Duncan on Titans All Access. We spent a lot of time on this show talking about Derrick Henry and another 200-yard rushing performance, and we should. But right now, let's talk offensive line and what a challenge it's been. Two new starters from last year. After two games, a new left tackle. Nate Davis misses two games. This group has had to sort of battle to put it all together, but they certainly have battled, and the run blocking was outstanding in Houston. What jumped out on the tape? Yeah, I mean, I think all of those guys, they've really worked hard. Um, that position group specifically takes time to, for those guys to kind of gel together. Um, the offensive line coaches, Keith Carter, Sully Hoss, they've all worked with those guys. They've worked with them after practice on the techniques that we teach. Uh, but I thought those guys played really hard in that game. I'm really proud of the strides that they made. And we're going to need those guys to continue to kind of come together as we go down the stretch here. You were pleased with your draft class back during the spring. You expected them to contribute. Did you expect them to contribute as much as they have, not even halfway through the season? Yeah, those guys have all made strides at their own individual positions and gotten better. Uh, some have played more than others. Some have been really good on special teams for us. Um, but it takes some time for those guys to kind of acclimate themselves to our culture, uh, stylistically, the way that we want to play football. Uh, but I'm really proud of the strides that they've made, and uh, hopefully they can continue to build on those uh, as we go through the season here. Titans have always been known for run defense. In the game against the Giants, not so good. Since then, seemingly better week by week. What's keyed it? Well, I think that, you know, that was a priority for us after that game. You know, that's something that we really wanted to hang our hat on uh, was to be strong against the run. You know, it starts up front with the line and the linebackers. You know, those guys getting knocked back at the line of scrimmage, keying on the blocks, the linebackers, you know, seeing it triggering quickly, which we certainly saw this past weekend. Um, it's gotten better week after week uh, and it continues to be a priority for us. Last two games, Bud Dupree has really shown up on defense coming back from injury. The word that jumps out to me when I think of Bud Dupree is energy. Is the motor that he has maybe his best attribute? It's certainly a strong one, Mike. I mean, I think that's the way he plays the game. Uh, you know, trying to create knockback on the edge in the run game, chasing on the backside uh, if he's unblocked, you know, continuing to try to find ways to counter either with speed or come inside on the pass rush. And usually if the ball happens to break through the line, he's one of the ones in chase, uh, giving all he can to try to either get the guy on the ground or at least affect the play. Sunday night football, Titans taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. They are five and two. Anything different about the Chiefs from years past? Yeah, I mean, the staff is intact. Mahomes is still back there. It's an explosive offense. Uh, they've still got Kelsey. The line is intact. Uh, they've added some weapons in uh, Juju Smith-Schuster and Valdez Scantling in the offseason. Uh, they've acclimated to that offense pretty well. It's still a pretty, you know, the same tandem of backs with McKinnon, Edwards, Hilaire. Uh, the rookie Pacheco is running really good for him as well. Uh, defensively, it's an attacking front, you know, with Chris Jones, who's a perennial Pro Bowl player in the middle. The two backers, Gay and Bolton, are playing really well. And they've got some experience in the secondary. They picked up Justin Reed uh, in free agency from the Houston Texans, who we know. Um, and Juan Thornhill returns back there. So experience on defense and really explosive on offense. Thanks for talking ball. Always enjoy, Mike.